You don't want to miss this, folks. A new comet from the depths of the solar system is on its way to us and could provide a real celestial spectacle. When and where you can observe the foreign visitor, you will find out here, so make sure to stay until the end, because this is a unique opportunity in our lives. Welcome, everyone. C2023 A3, Tsuchinshan Atlas. This is not the product code of a new IKEA shelf, but the name of a very special comet that will soon pay us a visit so that no one misses the cosmic spectacle. Share this video here diligently with your friends and family and let's try to get the video to 8,000 likes. Because then the YouTube algorithm will show it to a lot of other people and we don't want anyone to miss this unique chance in the sky, so everyone hit the like button hard. So back to our icy friend from space. C2023 A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas was discovered on January 9th, 2023 by astronomers at the Purple Plant Observatory in China. Back then, it was still an inconspicuous dot in the sky, far out in the solar system. But as it often goes with comets, sometimes they turn out to be real surprises of the universe. But I can already hear some conspiracy theorists now. Tim, you're dreaming sharply. This is just another conspiracy by NASA. No, no, don't worry. The researchers at NASA haven't faked anything for me. In fact, it was the Atlas project that confirmed the comet-like activity of the object shortly after its discovery in China. By the way, ATLAS stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System and is an early warning system designed to detect near-Earth asteroids that could pose a threat to our planet. I know this is yet another name that makes you wonder if astronomers secretly play Scrabble at night and come up with the most impossible word combination. But what exactly is the story with this comet? And above all, when can we see it in the sky? Imagine a gigantic dirty snowball. No, not the one you built and threw at someone last winter. I'm talking about something completely different, a cosmic galactic snowball. Comets are basically just that, huge chunks of ice, dust, and rock hurtling through our solar system. They are often known as dirty snowballs because they contain a mixture of frozen water, carbon dioxide, methane, and ammonia ice, along with rock and dust particles. And when they approach the sun, the big melting begins. The ice evaporates evaporates and pulls dust and gas with it, creating the comet's characteristic tail because solar wind and radiation simply blow the material away from the comet. Tsujin, whom we can simply call Tsuji, is something truly special. It likely comes directly from the Oort cloud, a vast collection of icy objects and comets that surrounds the solar system in an almost spherical shell. It is considered the outermost region of the solar system and is a source of long period comets, that is, comets with extremely long orbits. Although the Oort cloud has not yet been directly observed, there is strong evidence for its existence based on the orbits and origins of many comets. The Oort cloud is located far beyond the orbits of the planets. Its distance from the Sun is estimated to be, and now hold on, between about 2,000 and 100,000 astronomical units. For comparison, one astronomical unit is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is about 150 million kilometers. This means that the Oort cloud is extremely far from the Sun and possibly extends to the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space. Or to make scientifically accurate comparisons again, the Oort cloud is a kind of cosmic refrigerator that encloses our solar system. There are billions of comets stored at temperatures where even a polar bear would wear a down jacket. And now one of them has set off on the long journey to us. The big question is, of course, how spectacular the flyby will be. This is where it gets a bit tricky because comets are notoriously unpredictable. They are the divas among celestial bodies. Sometimes they announce a big show and then only appear briefly on the horizon like a shy party guest. Another time, they surprise us with a performance that would make even Beyonce envious. Currently, experts believe that Tsuji will take the big stage in the sky in October 2024. The most optimistic forecasts suggest a brightness that could be comparable to that of the planet Venus. But before you start planning comet parties and printing t-shirts, remember that comets are unpredictable. It may be that our cosmic visitor plays the role of the introverted bookworm and can only be discovered with a telescope. By the way, if you want to observe the comet, you don't necessarily need high-tech equipment. A good pair of binoculars might be enough. And for everyone who is thinking, oh no, do I really have to get up in the middle of the night? I have good news for you too. Suji is likely to be visible in the evening sky. So no excuses, you sleepyheads. If you're still not convinced, just wait and see what makes this comet so special. Aside from its tongue twister of a name, there are actually a few really cool thousand cool facts. Firstly, Tsuji is what we call a dynamically young comet. 
This means it is visiting the inner solar system for the first time. It is like the teenager among comets, exploring the big wide world for the first time with a backpack. Its orbit is quite eccentric. The orbit of the comet is inclined by about 109 degrees and all 30 minutes relative to the ecliptic plane, which is the plane of the Earth's orbit. It races in a steep dive past the Sun before returning to the depths of space. According to forecasts, it is expected to reach its perihelion on September 28th. At that time, it will be closest to the Sun, which is usually also the moment when comets reach their maximum brightness and can generally be quite visible to observers on Earth. The comet is expected to be about 0.39 astronomical units away from the Sun, which is almost 85 million kilometers. It is expected to reach its closest point to Earth on October 12th. At that time, it will be about 0.46 astronomical units or 69 million kilometers from Earth. That is relatively close for a comet and makes the likelihood quite high that it will be visible to the naked eye if it continues to increase in brightness. And thirdly, it could provide us with unique insights into the composition of the Oort cloud. Since comets, like Suchi, originate from these distant, cold regions, they potentially carry unaltered ancient materials. These can then provide clues to the original conditions during the formation of the solar system, since these comet cores have remained unchanged since their formation about 4.6 billion years ago. It's like opening a time capsule that reveals secrets about the formation of the solar system. Exciting, right? And folks, now comes the part that I think is the coolest, the science behind it. Do you know what astronomers do when such a cosmic visitor comes by? They whip out their spectrographs faster than a cowboy draws his colt. These devices break down the light of the comet into its components and reveal to us what it is made of. Like a cosmic detective search, just without a magnifying glass and a Sherlock Holmes hat. For those who, like me, never paid attention in physics, a spectrograph is an instrument that breaks down the light of the comet into its wavelengths to analyze which chemical elements and molecules are present in the comet. By analyzing the spectral lines emitted or absorbed by certain molecules and atoms, one can determine the chemical composition of the comet. And initial investigations have already shown that Sushi is quite a dust collector. It produces more dust than gas. Thousand. Making it a particularly photogenic candidate for our night sky. But there is still one more comet that comes quite close to the Sun. So close that some pessimist astronomers fear it could break apart. It would be like putting a snowball in the microwave. Not exactly the most spectacular end for our cosmic visitor. But don't worry, even if Tsuji decides to make such a dramatic exit, it could still become an impressive spectacle for us Earthlings. Imagine seeing a comet that breaks apart into several pieces, each with its own little tail. It would be like an astronomical fireworks display. So, what can we do to not miss this sky spectacle? Quite simple. 2001. Keep your eyes open and keep an eye on the sky. Should we start looking for our cosmic visitor from the beginning of October? The comet will move through different constellations depending on the season and the location of the observer. In early October, it could be visible in the northern hemisphere, probably passing through the constellations Leo and Virgo, although this will need to be determined more precisely as we get closer to the date. The exact position of the comet changes from night to night. Therefore, it is advisable to use astronomy websites, planetarium software, or apps like Stellarium or Starwalk to obtain up-to-date information. Look for a bright point in the western evening sky that may be visible to the naked eye. If you're lucky, you might even see the tail that stretches across the night sky like a cosmic brushstroke. And for everyone who is already getting anxious, don't worry, I will of course keep you updated as soon as there are new insights or observations. And now we come to another cosmic visitor. We are being truly spoiled right now. The Earth has a second moon. No joke. And you might be able to see this cosmic second lunar companion. You can find out everything about it in the video displayed in the top right. Be sure to click on it. You shouldn't miss this, as it is a unique opportunity. And if you want to support the channel beyond that, feel free to watch the older videos too. Every click helps. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.